we'll start with the new topic kalazar so what is kalazar kalazar is a slow progressing indigenous disease caused by a protozoan parasite of genus leishmania okay leishmania donovani is a only disease only parasite which is causing the disease in india that is kalazar disease the parasite primarily infects reticulo endothelial system and may be found in abundance in bone marrow spleen and liver it will first it will uh, affect the reticulo endothelial system then it may find okay found in the marrow and spleen and liver post kalazar dermal leishmaniasis is a condition when leishmania dinovani in which skin cells resides and develops the and manifests as dermal lesion okay after kalazar uh, disease there will be a dermal lesions formation that that is because of leishmania will be invaded into the skin cells it will reside there then it will develop there so that's why there will be dermal lesions the sand flea will act as a carrier or a vector to transmit the infection and the signs and symptoms a recurrent fever intermittent or remittent with often double rise okay there be recurrent intermittent or remittent fever with often double rise means uh, twice a day it will be rising loss of appetite pallor and weight loss with progressive emaciation there be loss of appetite there is no hunger there be pallor uh, means bluish discoloration of the skin there be weight loss with progressive emaciation there be weakness and most of the time there be splenomegaly that is enlargement of the spleen usually soft and non tender and liver will be enlarged not to the extent of spleens it will be soft smooth surface and sharp edge okay liver will be enlarged but not in the type uh, not like spleen there be lymphadenopathy but uh, in india it is not common and skin how the skin will be it will be dry thin and scaly and hair may be lost light colored person show grayish discoloration of the skin of hands feet abdomen and face which gives the indian name kalazar means black fever okay there will be discoloration of the skin dry thin and uh, scaly and hair will be fall so that's why there is a name kalazar that is black fever there be anemia that develops rapidly in anemia with emaciation and gross splenomegaly it produces a typical appearance of the patients there be splenomegaly mainly you can see the splenomegaly and anemia all over the body that is a typical feature so how the kalazar is transmitted it is person to person and the mosquito act as a or a sand flea act as a vector <clears throat> indian kalazar has a unique epidemiologic feature of being anthropomorphic human is the only known reservoir of the infection only the human will act as a reservoir only he is having the infection this leishmania parasite and that will be transmitted through the sand fly to the other human female sand flies pick up parasite that is <clears throat> a mastigot or ld bodies while feeding on an infected human host okay how the female sand flies will get the uh, parasite that is because when they inf- invade or uh, when they bite the infected human host What? how kalazar is diagnosed first it is by serological test variety of tests are available for diagnosis of kalazar the most commonly used test based on relatively sensitivity specificity and operationally feasibility include direct agglutination test rk39 dipstick and elisa <coughs> so these are the first is by sensitivity okay the diagnostic test first one is under the diagnostic test is the serological test okay under that there be sensitivity test and by using uh, dart that is a direct agglutination test rk39 dipstick and the elisa however all these tests detect the igg antibodies that are relatively long lasting aldehyde test is commonly used but it is not specific test okay uh, igm detecting tests are under development and not available for field use okay now 
only for IgG antibody there is a diagnostic uh, test, but for IgM there is no. Parasite demonstration in bone marrow, spleen, <laughs> lymph node <coughs> aspiration or in culture medium is a confirmatory diagnosis. However, sensitivity varies with the organ selected for aspiration. So, first uh, parasite demonstration you are done using the aspiration. Okay, aspiration can be any bone marrow, spleen, or lymph node, lymph aspiration. That is for the confirmatory test. Though spleen aspiration has the highest sensitivity and specificity, but a skilled professional with appropriate precautions can perform it only at a good hospital facility. By doing the spleen aspiration, you will get the perfect result, okay, positive result. But it is very few hospital they are doing this test. So, what is the treatment of Kalazar? It is a short term disease, short term treatment and long term treatment. In short term treatment, sodium sty SSG that is given IM or IV 20 mg per kg per day into 30 days with the gluconate okay. and long term uh, miltefacin 100 mg daily for weeks. So what is the magnitude? It is mainly seen in the part of Jharkhand, Bihar, UP and West Bengal. So the Kualazar control efforts in India were done and uh, by the organizer centrally sponsored control program launched in endemic areas in 1990 to 91. Uh, endemic area means these are the things Jharkhand, UP, West Bengal and Bihar. Mainly in this area we can see those diseases. So to control this uh, disease the centrally sponsored control program was launched in the 1990 to 91. The government of India provided Kalazar medicines, insecticides and technical support and the state government implemented the program through primary health care system, district zonal and state malaria control organization and provided other costs involved in strategy implementation. So this program was brought up by the government <coughs> of India but the implementation was done through the state government okay? and state government ordered the primary health care system and the district or zonal uh, state malaria control organization and they controlled the Kalazar. So what was the strategy? Vector control to IRS with DDT up to 6 feet height from the ground twice annually. That is spray, DDT spray was done for the 6 feet ground from the ground twice annually, every six months it was doing. And the early diagnosis and complete treatment was done, information, education, communication, that is health education you are giving and capacity building, you are health educating the people and uh, manpower training was done. Program intensified in 1991-92 which led to improved case registration through primary health care system. So primary health care system was the basic health care system in this Kalazar. So they, there, there was a registration of more cases and through that there was more intensification of the treatment, okay, treatment was given more. And program achievement within three years of intensification that is 1995 as compared to 1992, 70.66% decline in annual incidence and 80.48 decline in deaths. So this was the program achievement. There was a lot of redu reduction of the death and the disease. This is the graph showing Kalazar case and deaths in India since 2002. So what is the Kalazar Elimination Initiative? That is first one national health policy goal Kalazar Elimination by the year 2010. Elimination program is 100% centrally supported only the government of India was sponsoring this uh, structure, I mean the program, except regular staff for state government and infrastructure. Only the, they 100% centrally sponsored, still there was exception for the regular staff who were working in the government and say state government and the infrastructure. In addition to Kalazar medicines and insecticide, cash assistance is being provided to endemic states since December 2003 to facilitate effective strategy implementation by sta states. Even though the program was there, still the cash assistance, okay, support was given to the states or the endemic states by the government. 
so that's what about the uh, kala sir we'll see in the next chapter thank you